One of the things that most people on Earth have in common is their desire at some point to have some land that they can call their own, but depending on your wealth, the realization of this dream can vary drastically. For most of us, this could be an apartment, a house, or perhaps some farmland. But for the richest individuals or corporations, there's the possibility of purchasing an entire island. From tropical paradises to pristine wildernesses, it's time to enter a world of luxury and privacy as we take a look at the 15 most incredible private islands on our planet. Number 15. Ariara Island, the Philippines the Philippines is an archipelago in Southeast Asia that's made up of around 7,600 different islands. And while most of these are publicly owned, there are many that are held in private hands. One of the most impressive is known as Ariara Island, which is a four-hour travel from the country's capital city, Manila, by plane, car, and catamaran. And this has been developed to be the perfect private getaway. Featuring more than 125 acres of stunning beaches, lush forest, and rocky coastline, current owners have built a single luxurious villa on Ariara which functions both as a vacation home for themselves and as a place that can be rented for groups of up to 18 guests. From the central lodge, there's an option of a beachfront or jungle villas to stay in, each of which offers incredible views and a real sense of privacy. The island is surrounded by a huge reef, so is ideal for those who love to dive or snorkel but it's equally as perfect if you simply want to relax on the beach. A place like this doesn't exactly come cheap, however, with weekly prices ranging between thirty dollars and $60,000. It's hardly within most people's budgets. Number 14. Musha Key, Bahamas If you're looking for a truly magical island experience, then it'd be hard to beat Musha Key, which is a privately owned part of the 120-mile-long Exuma chain of islands in the southern Bahamas. Found around 85 miles or 137 kilometers from the country's capital, Nassau, it was purchased by David Copperfield several decades ago and has been transformed into a tranquil paradise that offers visitors a truly luxurious experience. It's not just the main island that's owned by Copperfield, but a further 10 that surround it in a region that's been named Copperfield Bay. And this provides unparalleled privacy across 700 acres of land and at least 40 pristine and glorious white sandy beaches. Far from being a place to simply relax, there's plenty to do too, with a fleet of boats which includes a 37-foot or 11-meter yacht, water sports such as jet skiing, sailing, diving, and snorkeling, and plenty of land-based activities too, like tennis courts, a gym, and even an outdoor movie theater. Unsurprisingly, there's a lot of magical memorabilia on the island too, with guests having the opportunity to play on Houdini's championship billiards table. This is the place that Copperfield and his family use to retreat from public life and take time out. But when they're not using it, it's also available for private hire. Of course, you'll need to be one of the wealthiest people on Earth to be able to do this, though. And it's here, for example, Sergey Brin, one of the co-founders of Google, was married in 2007. Number 13. Sonora Island, British Columbia, Canada Not all stunning private islands are surrounded by beaches and coral reefs and Sonora Island in British Columbia, Canada is the perfect example of this. It's part of the Discovery Islands, which is located at the eastern tip of the Johnstone Strait, and was named after the first Spanish ship that charted the region in the late 18th century. There are a number of islands in the region that have become the private paradises for fishermen who use them as a base of operations to land their catches. But Sonora is different. While it's technically not fully owned by one person, the only real development on it is the Sonora Resort, and from there you'd be completely unaware of the several other private residences that are hidden away from it. For all intents and purposes, it feels like a private island paradise, and anyone that goes to stay there is guaranteed a luxurious stay in the utmost of privacy, while being able to take in the stunning Canadian wilderness from bald eagles and black bears that live within the red and yellow cedar forest, to orcas and porpoises swimming in the waters, and more freshly caught salmon than chefs know what to do with, the place truly has it all. Number 12. Coco Island, Maldives The Republic of the Maldives is an archipelago in the Indian Ocean that lies around 430 miles from the southern tip of the Indian mainland. It's made up of a series of atolls with at least 1,190 islands, of which only 185 are permanently inhabited, with the rest being used for tourism and in some cases being privately owned. To see how incredible a private paradise in the Maldives can be, you need to look no further than Coco Island, which is known by locals as Makunufushi. 
It's part of the South Malay Atoll, and it's just a 40-minute speedboat trip from the international airport on the island of Malay itself. But despite being so relatively close to civilization, you could spend your entire time there without seeing a single person. The island is fully owned by Como Hotels and offers 34 overwater villas for guests to stay in. Surrounded by silky sand and with some of the best waters for snorkeling and diving in the whole of the Maldives, there's no wonder that it's regularly ranked in the lists of the best privately developed islands in the world. Number 11. Katafunga Island, Fiji Fiji in the South Pacific is an island nation that's made up of at least 300 individual islands, along with hundreds of further smaller outcrops, and of these only around 100 are inhabited. The rest largely remain as untouched island paradises, some of which are privately owned and have been prepared for larger developments if the owners want. There are very few islands still available to purchase, but in recent years, if you had a spare $17 million, you could have bought Katafanga Island. Also known as the Blue Lagoon because of a 5,000-acre lagoon that surrounds it, it's part of the Lao group of islands in eastern Fiji, which are known for their remoteness, sparse population, and privacy. You really don't have to see anyone else when you're there unless you want to, and you'll only need to share the environment with the local wildlife. As an added extra, the previous owner of Katafanga had already installed a small airstrip, a water reservoir, an unobtrusive road, a power supply, and a number of villas, meaning it truly has the potential to be turned into anything you could want. Number 10. Cayo Espanto, Belize off the coast of Belize in the Caribbean Sea, there are around 450 islands that are part of the Belize Barrier Reef, which is itself part of the second largest known reef system in the world. Due to the size of most of the islands and the fact that they aren't particularly large enough to inhabit, many of them haven't yet been named, and that was once the case with Cayo Espanto until it was bought in 1997. It's within a small archipelago alongside a few smaller islands and is only four acres in size itself, but this just adds to the sense of privacy and exclusivity for anyone who's staying at the resort that has since been built there. Surrounded by amazing beaches, offering some of the best diving and snorkeling you'll find anywhere in the world and providing the best hospitality imaginable, it's perhaps no surprise that it's become a popular celebrity retreat and is apparently a favorite getaway for Leonardo DiCaprio and Bradley Cooper. In fact, DiCaprio reportedly enjoyed his time on the island so much that he bought another one nearby with the owner of Cayo Espanto in order to set up an entirely new resort to further capitalize on what the region has to offer. Number 9. Nemba, Tanzania The Zanzibar Archipelago is a group of islands that lie off the eastern coast of Africa, all of which fall under the coastal territory of Tanzania. The four main islands in the chain have a total population of around 1.3 million people, but they're surrounded by a further 42 smaller islands, many that are completely uninhabited, but with a few that are privately owned. Nemba Island can be found just 1.8 miles off the coast of Ogunja, which is the largest island in the archipelago, and is therefore very easy to access. The island itself is approximately 1,640 feet in diameter and is roughly a triangular shape, but it's best known for the stunning pristine reef that surrounds it. The region is a designated marine conservation area, which strictly limits the activity of fishermen and other industries that can cause irreparable damage to places like these. And this is perfect for the owners of the island who have turned it into an exclusive resort, with only a few guests able to stay there at any time. Amazingly, boats aren't allowed within 650 feet of the shoreline unless they have expected guests on board. This means that the marine wildlife that's so often scared away by human activity can be seen right up along the shoreline. The beaches are therefore used as nesting sites by green sea turtles, and in the waters around Nemba, you can expect to see humpback whales, at least three different species of dolphin, whale sharks, and more than 600 species of reef fish, and plenty more, making it a real animal lover's paradise. Number 8. Chiftlik Island, Turkey Despite not technically being a fully private island right now, there's some potential to turn Turkey's Chiftlik Island into one, should an investor come calling, and that's part of what's so exciting about the place. It's around 20 acres in size and lies close to the city of Mamaris, sitting just 500 feet or 150 meters from the mainland in a small bay. Currently, just seven acres are privately owned, and when there's a few stone houses, one of which is designed to look like a chateau, it's ideal to be converted into a master villa, with the others having potential as guests or staff accommodation. 
The island also has two jetties for boat access, three irrigation pools that could be transformed into spectacular swimming pools, and electricity and freshwater provisions already installed, meaning new owners won't have to do too much before they're able to sit back and enjoy the warm Turkish sunshine in peace. A long-standing arrangement with the Turkish treasury means that the remaining land is available to the property's owner to buy if they want. And this means that in the right hands, it could one day become an incredible private island that's both secluded and close to easy transport connections and supplies. Number 7. Big Fish Key, Bahamas One of the 700 or so islands in the Bahamas, only around 30 are permanently inhabited, and this leaves plenty of opportunities for people to own a tropical island for themselves, with a variety of different sizes and options to choose from. One of the most exciting to be available for purchase recently was the 55-acre Big Fish Key, which, with an asking price of just 4.5 million bucks, seems like an absolute steal. It's located around 8.5 miles off the coast of Little Abaco Island, and with very little development has happened there, there's great potential for a new owner. Internet, water, and power services have already been installed, and a couple of luxury condos have already been built to take advantage of the 400 feet of stunning white sandy beaches. But crucially, the Bahamian government has already granted planning permission for a construction of a resort, with further villas, a hotel, and stores. With space for a 100-berth marina, and even a potential for a runway at the center of the island, this tropical paradise could be turned into a stunning retreat for a single family in a luxury mansion, or as a commercial property that offers a relaxing getaway for people from around the world. The only limitation here is the imagination and budget of whoever's lucky enough to own it. Number 6. Satellite Island, Tasmania Just off the southeast coast of Tasmania, in a body of water called the D'Antracasto Channel, is the 84-acre Satellite Island, a privately owned outcrop that's hardly been developed apart from a luxury summer house on a hill and a boathouse with a jetty. This island was first documented in 1792 during a French expedition that traveled through the region, and even then they were impressed by the wealth of marine wildlife in the surrounding waters, particularly the crayfish, scallops, and oysters. Before being taken into private hands, it was long used as a location for an observatory, something it was ideal for because of the lack of light pollution for a huge region around, and because of the clear skies that are so common. The family that owns it obviously stays there as often as possible, but when they aren't enjoying their seclusion, there's a full-time caretaker who looks after the property, which is available for hire. This isn't a place for day trippers, though, and anyone interested can rent the entire island for several days, meaning they'll be able to explore the ancient blue gum forest, walk the paths around the rocky cliff, and if they're lucky, catch a glimpse of the pair of rare white-breasted sea eagles that have made the island their home. Number 5. Hayman Island, Great Barrier Reef the Great Barrier Reef is not only the largest reef system in the world, but the planet's most biodiverse marine habitat. It's no wonder that it's become such a popular tourist destination for those wanting to see the underwater wonders for themselves. If you take the usual visitor routes, however, you'll likely find yourself sharing your experience with plenty of other people. But if you want something more private, you could instead opt for a stay on a private island. Hayman Island is a 726-acre plot of land that's the northernmost part of the Whitsunday Islands, which are just off the coast of central Queensland, and offer the ideal place to explore the reef that surrounds them. It was first taken into new hands in 1947, when a resort was first built there, and several renovations have taken place since to ensure it's one of the leading five-star venues of the world. Guests on the island have use of a fleet of luxury yachts, helicopters, and even a seaplane. And it's not just about exploring the ocean. After decades of careful management, Heyman also boasts a huge botanical garden that currently has around 33,000 plants from 327 different species. Number 4. Azura Kilalea, Mozambique Just off the coast of Mozambique in East Africa, there's a beautiful archipelago in the Indian Ocean called the Karimbas Islands. Possibly due to become a UNESCO World Heritage Site, They've long been used as fishing and trade outposts, and today they're particularly known for the incredible dive sites in the reefs that surround them. One of the southernmost and smaller islands called Azura Kilalea is completely uninhabited, and the only structures on it are nine private villas that are a part of a luxury resort, with each one offering incredible ocean views. The rest of the 86-acre island is covered in old baobab groves and indigenous vegetation that's ready to explore as well as four sandy beaches, including one that's often covered with nesting turtles of three different species. 
just off the coast is a privately protected reef where you'll see large populations of potato bass and hunting jacks, along with countless other aquatic species that have all been able to thrive without the interference from humans. With hot and humid weather all year round, wonderfully warm water, and the virtually undisturbed natural environment, it's easy to spend time on the island and completely forget the outside world exists altogether. Number 3. Wadiji Island, Fiji Fiji is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful island chains in the world, and what's amazing about the place is that each of the volcanically formed pieces of land have their own unique character. There are a range of different sizes, but in many ways the smaller ones are far more interesting, and recently Wadiji Island was offered for sale. Covering an area of just two acres, it's part of the Mamanuka Islands and reaches a maximum height of 127 feet above sea level, which gives spectacular views over the surrounding ocean and coral reefs. It has two main silky sandy beaches, which are perfect vantage points to swim and snorkel in the water. And amazingly, this is all accessible by a 50-minute water taxi ride from the nearest main island. Also featuring a private swimming pool, along with a main villa and three destination villas, Previous owners have designed the island to be the perfect full-time retreat, while at the same time offering income from the rental of the villas. Everything has been built with traditional Fijian techniques in an eco-friendly way, and the focal point has to be the Burakalao, which is an open-air pavilion that's ideal for evenings of entertainment and is positioned to grant the best views of the sunset over the horizon. This is truly everything you'd imagine on an island paradise. Number two. Villa North Island, Seychelles. Seychelles is another absolutely stunning archipelago in the Indian Ocean, which is around 932 miles to the east of mainland Africa. Made up of around 115 islands, it was completely uninhabited until European settlers discovered the pristine paradise in the 16th century. And it's now not only one of the wealthiest African nations per capita, but also a highly sought after tourist destination. Not all of the islands are accessible to locals or regular visitors, however, and Villa North Island is a particular gem. Not only is it surrounded by perfect beaches and glorious azure waters, but the owners have invested heavily into making it one of the most luxurious private island getaways in the world. There's a total of 11 individual villas on the island, one of which is known as the North Island Villa and is specifically designed for honeymooning couples who want to spend their time in their own corner of the world. Each of the properties has been designed with uninterrupted views of the beaches and the ocean, and if this wasn't enough, there's plenty to do there too. Each villa has its own cinema lounge and study, as well as a large marble bath and outdoor showers, and they're surrounded by natural vegetation that completely secludes them from the rest of the island. If you want to venture into communal areas, however, you'll find a large infinity pool, a spa and fitness center and dive and activity center where you'll be able to design custom tours and activities with the experienced staff. If you're thinking this sounds fit for a king, then you'd be right, as the main villa on the island is said to be where Prince William and Catherine went for their honeymoon. Number 1. Necker Island, British Virgin Islands Owned by Richard Branson of the Virgin Group, Necker Island is probably the most famous private island in the world, and decades of development have made it easily one of the most impressive. A part of the British Virgin Islands, which is a British overseas territory in the Caribbean that's close to Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands, Branson bought the 74-acre plot in the late 70s for just $120,000. He had to make a commitment to develop a resort there, however, and within three years had spent a further $10 million to turn it into an incredible island paradise. By using materials such as local stone and Brazilian hardwoods, along with decorative pieces from around the world, the 10-bedroom main villa has open walls to provide spectacular 360-degree views of the surroundings. Unfortunately, in the past decade, Necker has been hit by several hurricanes that have destroyed the original structures that were built there, but Branson keeps rebuilding it bigger and better than the previous time, and this has kept it ahead of the rest in terms of the facilities and luxury available to those able to afford the more than $100,000 rental price per day. This does, though, provide space for up to 40 guests, use of all the island's facilities, and the 100 staff that look after the venue. You can use the private submarine, play virtually any sport you can think of, dive or snorkel on the reefs, or simply relax on the sandy beaches. Necker Island is, therefore, an unashamed billionaire's paradise. It proves that no matter how far away you are from civilization, it's more than possible to take all your creature comforts with you. 
Watch our Waves playlist for more top 15 videos about massive waves. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best wave videos.